when Eamon Patrick Prospect first came to England as a kid, there were landlord notices all over the windows. He said no dogs, no blacks, no Irish. The teachers used to take the piss out of his accent. And afterwards, the teachers would be like, oh, I'm just kidding. Kids would chuck potatoes at him at dinner time, and guess what? He sat there and took it. And when the caretaker spat at him with no warning, they cheered. And when he spat back, the head teacher suspended him. My dad waited for him outside with a sock full of keys, and whacked him over the back of the head. Never came back to school, never came back at all. My dad hated dogs most of his life. He hated blacks. But to make it fair, he hated the Irish the most. And now he's dead. And now I have to stand up and be a man. How am I supposed to do that? Well, if you had one day left, what would you do with it? One day? Well, maybe less. Well, you see, I've always been thinking, what would I do? And all the things that you dream of, and fantasies, you know what I mean? And, well, it's a beautiful day, you know, and the time of year. And, you know, Danny's off doing his own thing. And I've got all this cash and time to myself. But I can't stop thinking about it. You're in a spot of bother. Well, no, sort of, maybe. Yeah, I have. Yeah, son! <laughs> My son has come through with some genetics. Does your brother know? Yeah. And where is your brother? I mean, you and him usually joined at the head like Simon. Dad. And... Advice. Simple. It's your life. Waste it your way. And all the plans you make, all the savings you've salted, all the dreams you've shared, they're all useless when you reach your last day. Advice given. Sorted. Thanks. So you got some cash, have you, you sly little bastard? Dad. Well, come on then. A man ain't a man if he's never had a flutter. Oh, come on, pick a winner. <laughs> Gay lord. How about you go with the favourite? Gay lord. Either way. To win, put 50 on it. That's my boy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs>